that means what no it does my balance sheet balance go down it does not ah add it as what in the asset beautiful add it as what in the asset no it is not something which you it is not in a physical form you can accountants you cannot say you cannot so what is the value still you have not derived the benefit you feel you might derive more benefit than that not a problem that is uh, that is what you make better utilization of the resources you make a profit fine minus whatever so where do you put it in the asset accepted the amount is not a question long term investment is it in a physical form current asset is it current there is one more column which you go up go down go up, go move up there's just one solely there's one more i write out here right in this 22 there is what is called as miscellaneous expenditures and losses there is another heading that will appear as miscellaneous expenditure and losses one second asset i'll i'll come to that sir asset side how can it be expenditure that is the first question don't worry don't worry don't worry we'll 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 uh, look at that no what all will come under miscellaneous expenditure and losses i am going to list out now first thing let us say an ad like this the benefit of it is going to be derived there is sunk cost there is advertisement has been taken that is you cannot for example in an asset we don't take it as miscellaneous expenditure and losses because you can sell the car and then get money i can't sell the what do you call it as the ad which have shot with katrina kai because it is for my product nobody is going to buy that it is over it's a sunk cost it is like i don't know if you guys were uh, um, tracking kingfisher not now i'm talking about 3 4 years back what are the value he said that kingfisher as a brand has a beautiful lot of value but then somebody said it's a value for him for him for kingfisher but not for me if i buy that brand there is no value for me right it's a value for you it's not value for somebody else because he can co brand it with his beer and whatever and what else and what not and so on if i buy kingfisher and i say i'm going to have a kingfisher airline there's no brand for me it's negative so that ad whereas in a asset you will not it is not miscellaneous expenditure and losses in that sense your question was correct sir because you can resell it and derive some money i might have a patent i might buy a patent i can sell the patent i buy a car i i can sell the car i buy a machinery i can sell the machinery i cannot sell the ad which has a katrina kaif who is sort of um, what do you call it as doing an ad for my product out there nobody will buy it so it is an expenditure that in that sense it is an expenditure but you still think you can derive the benefit that is where it is an asset out there am i with you on this sir so far now there are lot of other items which will also appear under the head miscellaneous expenditure and losses what we call it typically as you when you start a business there are a lot of expenditure that you incur in setting up the business what you call it typically we use the word called as preliminary expenditure we use the terminology called as preliminary expenditure preliminary expenditure now the benefit of this preliminary expenditure you are going to the benefit of this preliminary expenditure you are going to derive over a period of about at least as long as the life of the company one might say others might argue for a reasonable period for a period of about 10 years so what happens the entire expenditure if i write it off in the first year as an expenditure then what happens to your company it will have a negative net worth out there so what do you do you write it off over a period of time till because you have not derived the entire benefit of that preliminary expenditure registration whatever etc legal fees etc so it is a miscellaneous expenditure which is not derived at third aspect there is an abnormal loss imagine there is a catastrophe in the organization there is a major fire the entire go down gets destroyed all the assets get destroyed raw materials and finished goods there is a huge loss i can write off the all the loss in the same year in the whole process what happens number 1 my net worth can get eroded number 2 if i show a huge loss i don't have to pay tax on that perfectly all right only that year and so on and so forth 
instead my tax loss allows me to carry forward these losses. So, what does it say? You can divide this loss over a period of whatever reasonable period they would have sort of given as per the guideline 5 years or 7 years or whatever it is. I divide this loss over a period of next to 7 years abnormal not the normal abnormal cases. So, imagine the loss is about 100 crores. I will say I will charge it at the rate of 10 percent every year for the next 10 years because the effect of this loss I am going to feel it for the next 10 years. So, at the end of the first year 10 lakhs or 100 crores 10 crores is written as loss other 90 crores is sitting as your on the asset side as unutilized you have not utilized the benefit of that. So, what happens in the second year you actually make a profit, but you write the effect of this loss 10 by 10 crores out there what happens to your tax liability it keeps coming down. If you write the entire 100 crores loss in the first year, what happens? You can show a loss, you need not pay tax on that, but that is all, but you are not going to get some money back, right. Whereas, if I distribute it over the next couple of years, every year my profit basically I am showing less by some amount, I am saving basically on tax. Reason why that allowance is given is because the effect of this major catastrophe, you are going to feel it over a period of next 5 or 10 years or whatever it is. So, all those kind of things for which you have not derived benefit will all come in here in bracket you put advertisement will all basically come in here under the head called as miscellaneous expenditures and losses. We usually call use the word what is called as unamortized amount in an ad in an ad case in an ad case we usually use it as unamortized amount miscellaneous expenditure and losses we use unamortized that is amortized not amortized still with you on this so far. Any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, if you are not deriving the entire benefit in that year, if you are deriving only part of the benefit, only that part of it you will book as an expenditure in that particular. But I have already made the payment cash has gone out, okay. cash has gone out to the entire extent. I can still not book in my you know, because even when you buy an asset the same thing happens right sir, yeah. hmm. because you have not derived you are expecting to derive the benefit in the subsequent year also with you on this. So, does the term working capital come in? No, working capital we will we have to hold it, it is a, it's a, it's a working capital is a, we have to, we are still let to work here yeah. we are still st beginning. So, once we start working we will just joking, come on sir. Expenditure. First year expenditure that is 9 months you go to the expenditure column man. Go up. Add expenditure I have written it off as an add expenditure so much. Rest goes in I have not utilized that amortized unamortized amount instead of that what you do is go down miscellaneous expenditure take out that write unamortized advertising expenditure in the next column and put it that is better. Expense, expenses I have put in the expense. Eh? When is the liability? When you pay. Here are you pay, you are it to pay. You have the benefit. I have the benefit. I have not derived the benefit of that ad. I can launch, I can sell 100 more products using that ad again. It is an asset in that sense, right. So, always look at it from that point of view, ma'am. Yes, sir. Abnormal loss, not all losses. Okay. Uh, 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 you have your insurance and insurance is uh, uh, payable as in you do not know when it is going to get paid. So, when once you are going to get your insurance, uh, then what happens? You are abnormal, they were okay. Now, 100 crores loss this year, I have claimed insurance, I have decided to write this loss over the next 3 years. Agreed. First year, I rise write 33.33 lakhs as the loss in my P&L. My tax liability comes down. Second year, also I do that, and third year, by third year, this 100 crore loss, which is there on the miscellaneous expenditure and losses, gets wiped out. After all the litigation, fourth year you receive 100 crores from insurance company. 
in that fourth year that becomes an income for you obviously, obviously right in between then also, yeah, then also yeah then also you will have to show it as an income that is all that that 100 crores will become income this 33 crores is an expenditure whatever is the difference suppose you get in the last year that entire 100 crores is an income for you because you have already written loss one, one second insulation will come to you TDS deduction liability is not because it is already paid what is there in the miscellaneous expenditure is after all the deduction whatever amount is there that is all come to your uh, insulation cost when we say cost of a machine land at cost complete including installation that is what is the value of the asset when you buy a car x factory x showroom RTO charge etc etc complete land at cost in your premises yes sir. Uh, and uh, after end of two years, if they added so long value that year at the end of two years and the second year financial statement you have not utilized it it is an loss that is all Abna, amortize it it is a loss you have not you derived benefit perfectly all right no problem but next year you will have to write it off yes sir which one current account is not current account is the total current account uh, current account instead of current account make it bank account just make it bank account one second make it bank account ok simple Tell, uh. now value see bank account is what what is the money that is there in the bank what is the money that is there in the bank that you have paid 24 lakhs right obviously it, it gives you what is what you own and what you owe what you own is minus the 24. fire flood anything yeah sir individual taxes are different we are talking only about the entity individual is different individual rules individual cannot claim depreciation no if it's a if you are preparing for imran and co i can claim depreciation I cannot book my expenditure there is no profit and loss statement for individual there is only income that is all no expenditure <laughs> individuals are taxed on income entities are taxed on profit difference do not mix both yes sir no sir if you are filing it normally in what is called as there are different ways we file income tax returns one is I file it as an individual as a salaried employee then I cannot do balance sheet I am a private consultant then basically I am filing it for the consultancy firm which I am doing it then I do that P and R I am filing it for my then it become a sole proprietor entity that is when you become a proprietor do a P and L if you are doing it for an individual you cannot am I right. Ah, that is he must be entering the business circle when he is filing his income tax return he is not entering the personal income tax circle he is entering the business circle there are multiple circles of it ok sir because suppose I quit this job I am a consultant I go teaching freelancer like this then what happens every time I can show prepare a balance sheet because I enter the business circle then I do not enter the individual circle. Sir, when are you receiving the income? Uh, that day, that is all. It becomes an income. Losses are happening. Losses, government, see, the tax laws allows you because the effect of that loss you are going to have it for some time. Of course, you can, one can argue the effect of the income I am going to enjoy for 10 years. That is perfectly fine. But you might enjoy this year also. It just, that is just a benefit that is given to you. 17th statement. Preliminary expenditure incurred in incorporating the business amounted to 45 lakhs. It was decided to write it off over a period of 10 years. Exactly the same thing. Preliminary expenditure 45 lakhs. Write it off over 10 years. So that means 
45 lakhs is your total expenditure. Bank balance goes down by 45 lakhs, obviously, straight away. Write it off over 10 years. 10 percent of that 45 lakhs goes as an expenditure, preliminary expenditure written off. The other 90 percent stays as unamortized amount out here. Yeah. In the next years, uh, when we are preparing the balance sheet, uh. how will we refer to this amount? Which amount? 4.5 lakhs. That is over. Next year, what happens? This is gone. Next year balance sheet, you will start with that amount, whatever is there. What he has written, preliminary NX expenditure, unamortized, whatever is the amount. You will start the opening balance sheet. When you are closing the balance sheet, it is going to be minus another 4.5 lakhs. Over a period of 10 years, it will get, get amortized. Where are the number, number of years? That is where you have to write all the explanation out here, sir. Okay. So that is where. This is year one. Yeah, yeah. Year this is year one, year two. Yes, everything will be there. All the details will be there. If we look at the annual report, which is there as part of it, it will all be there. No. No. No, expenditure, what is, I said, what is it? I write, decide to write it off over a period of 10 years. Only one tenth of it is this year. One tenth of it is this year, 80 percent next year. At the end, second year, 80 percent will still remain. Third year, 70 percent will still remain and so on and so forth. Expenditure side. Yeah. Yeah, of course, yes. expenditure, what is pertaining to this particular year? Miscellaneous expenditure, uh, expenditure and losses. What is still not unam still unamortized? Sir, there are some guidelines. The company also has can decide based within the guidelines. Within the guidelines, guidelines. If you ask me, I am not very uh, thorough on the guidelines part of it. Yes, Anshuman. Uh, at the fifth year, you will write the remaining entire amount as abnormal loss and close it. Or preliminary, complete preliminary expenditure, unamortized preliminary expenditure written off in that year and close it. Possible. Now, 18th transaction. Invested excess cash to the tune of 50 lakhs in a corporate bond of at 6 percent interest payable biannually on September 1st, 2018. Is there excess cash? Excess cash of 50 lakhs. Whatever above 50 lakhs. Is there above 50 lakhs? Yeah. This amount above 50 lakhs. Remaining amount goes in as to the corporate bond out there. Bond means long term investment. Interest rate pay biannually. That means 6 percent interest. Corporate bond, bond 6 percent. Whatever. 6 percent bond. Now, Sir, what happens is that it is 6 percent, 6 percent is the interest. When is the interest due? It says biannually. Biannually means twice a year. That means on 1st of September I am investing. When is the interest due? 31st of March. But 31st of December, when you close the accounts, what happens? Interest has accrued for September, October, November, and December. Four months interest would have accrued. So, you will show it as an asset. Interest accrued, but not due accrued but not due that we will worry about it at that stage on 31st of December when we close it. As of now, we just interested the bond in excess of 50 lakhs. Huh? What is the amount? To the tune of 50 lakhs. Okay. Reduce 50 lakhs on the bank account. Further, on the same day, I uh, we will give it on 31st of December. On 31st, when we close it only, it has accrued. No? As of today, it has not. Today, you invested. At the end of today, it will accrue. So, we will worry about the end of today. Mm -hmm. I, 31st of December, that particular company in which you invested decides to close down and return your money. They return only the capital or the interest for 4 months. It has accrued for you. 
you have earned it. We will do it. 31st of December when we do it, we will do it. May not be today, tomorrow, definitely. Further, on the same day of September 21st, uh, first, uh, the company invested 35 lakhs in the form of equity in a subsidiary. Long term investment, equity in a subsidiary, no interest in this particular case. If they gave a dividend, it is fine. 35 lakhs invested in equity in a subsidiary. Thirty-five lakhs, whatever. Bank account reduced by thirty-five lakhs, my dear. During the year, the two friends who started the company together withdrew five lakhs from the entity for their personal use. Huh? Liability. Liability. Where liability? Who said liability? Dividend. Yes, ma'am. Why liability? So, where is the liability? No, they owe the the, the the we are worried about the company or them? Uh, does the company owe them the money? Company owes them the money. Yes or no? Oh, one second, one second. Somebody said dividend. Uh, why dividend? Dividend is paid out of what? Uh, no, dividend is paid out of equity, no. Dividend is paid out of what? Profit. No, we do not know. Still, we are not close the books. That is okay. Salary. Now, they have withdrawn 5 lakhs. They have taken. There is cash in the box. They have just put their hand into it. That is all. They have dug their hand into it. No, they are not. So, what? So, uh, so what does it? What happens? Liability? Where, what is the liability for the company? It is an asset for the company. How does it become an asset? It's a loan. Where does it say it is a loan? Where is it said? It's a, does it say it is a loan? So, now hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, 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 okay. Fine, 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 fine. Now, let us get back. Normally, there are two forms in which the partners can take money out, three forms in this particular case. One is salary, everybody knows, right? That is okay. The other two forms are they can take a loan from the company. When they take a loan from the company, then what you say is true, there is a cash that is getting down, there is an asset that is getting created, that is they are liable to pay back to the company, it is an asset for the company, then it is perfectly fine. Here they have not used the word loan, they have said they have withdrawn. When they have withdrawn, that means what have they done? They are drawings from the company, that means their capital. What they have invested? They are reducing their capital. They are withdrawing the money from the capital. So, what we normally say in, the, in this particular case is just move the PL down, insert a column out here. What we normally say out there is drawings, drawings by the partner, that is the capital they are reducing, drawings by the partner to the tune of about 10 lakhs out there. So, 5 lakhs each. Together 5 lakhs, ok 5 lakhs, fine, I did not read the statement, I am sorry, negative, 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 negative. So, what happens? Now, your net worth basically has come down to that extent of 5 lakhs because they have withdrawn, they will not pay back the money, if they pay back, then we will reduce it. As of now, it does not say anywhere that it is a loan, it is a drawing, they have withdrawn their capital, that is all. So, to an extent what you said, madam. Liability side is right, but what you do with the liability was not right. You thought you are increasing the liability. No, you are basically your liability basically in that case. Your thought process was right, but it had to be fine tuned a little more. That is all. <laughs> they can. Then what happens to your net worth? In this case, there are only two investors. They can withdraw. Of course, yes. Then they are liable. Then net worth gets eroded. They are liable. That is what will lead to corporate governance issues, sir. We will deal with that separately. This is a partnership. It is a partnership, whatever you would call it partnership. A line item that is their value of their ownership 
as reduced the shard certificate we might remain the same right now next three or four more transactions yes navya As long as it is disclosed, it is perfectly fine. As long as disclosed, and others are okay with it. <laughs> that is a govern. That is separate aspect. Governance, corporate governance. Ideally, is an elective in your last quarter when you are going to graduate. We'll talk about all that aspect of it. That money is owned by all the equity holders. In this case, only two, no. No, no. Sir, so, they are withdrawing. See, I have contributed ten lakhs. I am withdrawing five lakhs out of it. That's all. So what? Now my capital is five lakhs. How do you say that five lakhs belongs to everybody? It might belong to me also. We are, we are not splitting that money at all at this stage. Okay, the rest part of it. Few more transactions. I need to add one more transaction to this list tomorrow morning. I'll add it, and then uh, we'll complete this tomorrow because it's already 10:40. And please read the case Lone Pine Cafe Part A. We are going a little slow than compared to your outline. What I've given, we are going slow by one class. No problem. Read up Lone Pine Cafe. It will take only 10 minutes for you to read. Even if you come here at 8:50 and read, it is perfectly fine. Not a problem. Huh? Lone Pine Cafe. The case A. Lone Pine Cafe A. As per your outline, check your outline. The first case in your outline. Lone Pine Cafe A. Read that case and come. We'll finish this and take up that case tomorrow. Okay? Thank you very much. I hope I'm communicating. Good.